Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, YouTube? So, today, I'm going to be working on my brand new Project S10. I do mean Beater S10, but I got it so I can make trips to the dump and maybe a uh, junkyard or two to pick up parts for the sky. As you can see on the sky, been somewhat busy with it, taking it apart. Got the front bumper off, obviously, and the intercoolers out. It's been a uh, interesting two weeks since my last upload with having bought the S10 at auction paid a little bit more than I probably should have for it but it still wasn't a bad purchase I had a uh, couple of leaks develop on the drive home it wasn't leaking there in the yard but they developed on the way home and one of them actually turned out to be this fitting for the oil cooler from the oil filter, the remote oil filter there. And, you know, I ordered the lines for the oil filter to the oil cooler, but I didn't order new fittings for it because I figured the fitting was good. But that's actually what it turned out to be, a $7 part from AutoZone. And... It's still dripping here and there. Um, not really sure where right this second. Maybe y'all can help me out here on this. The idle on the S10 doesn't change when I deactivate the injector for cylinders one or two, or both at the same time. It ends up getting rough whenever I deactivate three, four, five, or six. To me, that sounds like either it's not firing, or the injectors are clogged, or something, but there's no codes, no misfires, nothing like that. Maybe it's something normal with these trucks. I don't know, it's been a long time since I've had a 4.3 liter V6. Uh, it's been since about 2001, it's had a 4.3 liter. And I really wasn't into tuning or modifying it either. I got new shocks for it on the way. Well, they're inside. And they definitely look like they need to be changed. It rides like it needs to be changed. Overall though, it's hard to tell right this second if it's leaking anymore or not because of how much it leaked before I got that oil fitting replaced and tightened down the coolant line. Yeah, the coolant line from the radiator to the reservoir had two notches clicked on the clip and that was it. Tighten that all the way down and that fixed that. Honestly, it feels like that whoever owned this before was working on it and just got fed up with it, so they put it on at the auction, put it up for auction. And they weren't too far away from actually getting it fixed. But today, I'm going to fix the sway bar on it. At least, I should say, they weren't too far away from getting it fixed. To be a beater, I just plan to use it as a beater to get to the junkyard, the dump, if it snows really bad here, and it hasn't snowed really bad here since I moved here, but the bolt, bolt can drive in the snow just fine, it's just the range on the bolt is crap when it's cold out like that. Obviously I've got 
my to-do list going. I need to check some stuff off here. Let's see, front end removed. One thing checked off, yay. Gotta still drain the fluids. After I get the hood removed, that's when I'll start working on the trans and drive shaft and engine. But as of right now, that's where I stand. Of course, I already have the roof and fenders on order. That was on order before I realized that my motor was... Motor's not junk. It's in a condition that if I were to rebuild it, I would spend just about as much money rebuilding it as I could have a really strong and stout V8, especially with how many 5.3 or 6.0s, or LS1, LS2, LS3s that are out there. I mean, I've already been told I can pick up and do this entire swap for about five grand uh, with a basic V8, as long as I'm willing to do the work myself, obviously. And as you can see, I am. I, mean, I got a entire interior full of parts right now. If anybody's interested in parts for the Sky that go on the LNF. I have a Canaan air filter, works intake manifold, charge pipes from RPM, and one for the intake manifold. If you buy the intake manifold, that one will come with it. I also have the works intercooler down here, and I have the downpipe someplace around here that you know. That works. I also have several stock parts. I have the stock intercooler, cooler, intake manifold, intake, stock downpipe. Probably just take that to the dump. Original stock intake pipes. This is the RPM intake pipe that the intake manifold that I put on had to have removed. Got the original engine cover if anybody wants it. The air box for flat tire. Got a lot of stuff, just need to get rid of it. Beyond that, let's get started working on this sway bar that isn't even connected. What's up? Nothing. We gotta drive the old swagging wagon around. <laughs> yeah, this has been kicking my ass for about an hour. One sway bar in link? Yeah. God, those fucking A arm bushings look terrible. I know. I'm not really. Oh, I know. I just, I just noticed it, and I don't think I've ever seen one that bad. But 
I don't usually mess with like A-arm stuff. Like this truck is the first truck I've ever had that has A-arm. So my battery died on the GoPro when Justin showed up and he helped me get the hood off the sky. So we're down to draining the radiator, depleting the AC system, and then pulling that out. And then I'll be pretty much down to pulling the motor and trans after that. But yeah, the uh, truck, truck's back together. As you can see, it was leaking a lot when I first got it. It is what it is. It's riding a lot better with that new end link installed. I need to order another end link and get that installed. And then also the shocks, because those look like the original shocks. So, a few minor things left with the S10 to get it to where I want it to be. That's the beater truck. So when I go to the junkyard and pick up a V8, I can at least have something to bring it home with because it's not going to fit in the bolt. Bolt has a decent amount of cargo space, but I don't want a motor in there or a trans. That wraps it up today. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and I will catch you all next time.